Hello and welcome to the channel, it's Machine Dana, hope you're doing really well, good to see you here. Um, in this video I'm going to be discussing uh, in tutorial fashion, everybody's favourite fashion, uh, I'm going to be discussing how to set up the 8-ball game as a module using Streamlabs online tools in the CloudBot function. Um, I've done a lot of these types of videos and honestly the modules are such an easy, quick thing to set up on your stream. Um, you don't have to set them all up, but having even just three or four of these on your stream significantly increases the loyalty, uh, the interactivity with it, with your viewers. Uh, not just with you and the viewers, because it gives you some things to talk about as you go along, uh, some things to get excited about and so on. But also the viewers among themselves can have some interaction, both in more of a kind of chatty context, but also directly by getting involved in modules and games and mini games uh, that are group based mini games. The eight ball game is not a group based mini game, it's a solo mini game, but it's one that everyone can ask questions to. So in this video, I'm gonna be running through the settings for eight ball, where you look at the commands for it, how you customize the commands um, and how you can activate the eight ball mini game. If you find this useful, please do give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me quite a lot. So I thank you and appreciate it very much, but also other people are able to find the same content for the same things that you search for. Uh, also, if you wanna see more tips, tricks, tutorials, help, or just chit chat about streaming to Twitch in particular, uh, but also Streamlabs OBS, do hit the subscribe button. I do loads of these videos in general uh, and they've been uh, quite successful so far on my channel. Um, I also stream daily at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana, which I'll just link below and also maybe like somewhere here. Right, let's get into the eight ball mini game. Okay, assuming by now you've probably downloaded and used Streamlabs, the software, uh, I believe that CloudBot can work on other platforms, not including Streamlabs OBS, uh, but most people tend to use CloudBot if they are using Streamlabs OBS. It's a really powerful tool. It does loads of extra stuff. There's lo loads of extra things that you can get uh, with, with both the Prime upgrade or even just for free. CloudBot in itself is free uh, with the streamlabs.com online tool. All you do is set up an account. You can link it to your Twitch and use your Twitch logins to set up the streamlabs.com account. And then all that happens is the cloud functions such as the modules or the loyalty systems or the store or the website, they basically will interact with your Streamlabs OBS software. And together they will group and interact with then the Twitch or, or streaming platform. I use Twitch, but it does work for YouTube gaming and also Facebook gaming as well. So those two things work in unison and bundle the stream information together and send it up as a lovely experience for your Twitch or stream viewers. How do we work this? Once you've downloaded OBS and you've installed it and you've been streaming for a little while, if you go on the CloudBot section here under features, you can also search for it in the search bar here. Make sure that this is toggled on. You want to forward slash mod space Streamlabs in your chat. So you literally do that in your own chat, be that on Twitch or on Facebook gaming or on YouTube, uh, YouTube gaming. Once you've modded Streamlabs and once you've enabled CloudBot, then all you need to do is simply click on the module section within CloudBot here and then go to the eight ball game. Okay, there are loads of different modules here that you can easily enable and configure in this section modules. And I would advise browsing around the other videos that I've done to take a look at those, uh, but also just doing some trial and error on your own channel to see what does work and what doesn't work. As you can see here, I've got most of them enabled, but there's a few that I've not configured fully just yet for my channel, but I found them to be really, really good tools. So the eight ball game, the command that users will use by default is exclamation point eight, the number ball space, and then a question. They simply ask a question. In reality, I don't actually think it needs to be a question. It can just be a statement. I think it's basically just any text, but most people will obviously ask some sort of question to that, and then they'll get a random response. Uh, so it allows the viewers to ask questions to the eight ball. Similar to the like 1980s, 1990s eight balls, I used to shake them and then the thing would float to the top and then you'd get a random answer on, on the eight ball. It's kind of cool. So what you need to do, you need to enable it with this toggle here. Uh, you need to then click on preferences. For, for this particular module, most of the modules do need the loyalty system. For this particular module, it doesn't have to have the loyalty system function. So you, they don't need to use their loyalty points to use the eight ball. 
All you do here in the messages section, there's only two bits that you can configure. In the messages section, you can click add message and you can literally add a new message. Like, you should be so lucky. And if you're English, like I am, you probably want to put mate. You should be so lucky, mate. But save that. It adds it as the extra message. And it's as simple as that. If you want to, like, bum any off, you just want to get rid of some, click the, uh, I would say no. <laughs> sure. I'm going to bin that one. That's rubbish. Just click that to delete it. So the eight ball settings have been saved. A confirmation in the top right hand corner. You can add as many or as few messages. There's probably a cap. I would guess 50 or 100 or something like that. Maybe not. I don't know. So there you've added your actual message responses that are picked at random. And we want to click on the emotes section here and they can get random emotes as well from it. Now you may not want any, in which case you can bin them all or you can select um, and add extra emotes. So you can add a custom emote here. So if I go on mine, my here, I'm hosting someone here. So just ignore that for now or maybe check out the real Jam Jar. Uh, he's a good streamer. Uh, so I can go to my own, this is my machine 57 girth don't ask it's just a silly thing that i have on my my chat uh, i can have that as a custom emote and save that as one of the things that is appeared as an emote and that's it that's it literally configured there now final thing you want to do is click on command so we can go back here the settings will all be changed we've got cloud bot enabled we've modded streamlabs we've got the eight ball preferences configured there and we've turned on the toggle here that should all now work fully on your chat this, this, the users literally just need to type that now. The final thing I want to do is go into commands. You can create custom commands. So you might want to add a new command, which tells your viewers a little bit more about the 8-ball system. Uh, or you could add that as a timer. Uh, but if you look on the defaults here, um, there should be on the default commands one for the 8-ball, which is here. So what I can now do is the, the custom, def sorry, the default command for this is 8-ball allows you to ask a question to the eight ball but we can edit this now and we can change the permission so that it's regulars subscribers mods or the streamer that can only do the eight ball you can restrict this so it can be an enhanced experience for some of your users uh, the, the reply can be in a whisper or in chat you can customize the command itself and when you click on advanced you can also give it an alias so here i'm going to say eight ball so just in case somebody doesn't figure out that it's the number eight and it's the word eight, I'm just going to add that as an alias. So that eight ball, if someone accidentally types that instead of the other command, it will essentially do the exact same thing because that's another alias for the same function, the eight ball function. You can set a user cooldown on this. You might want to say right every 60 seconds uh, and a global cooldown. Confirm that. It just gives you an extra little bit of customization to the eight ball function. Now, once you've configured all of those settings, um, just to note again, it doesn't use loyalty in any way. It's purely you just go into your chat. You can then go into your commands here, do exclamation point. I'm going to do the alias that I chose, 8ball, rather than just to illustrate that the alias does work. And hopefully that now comes up with, I didn't ask it a question, so there needs to be a question afterwards. <laughs> it won't work. I might, I might be subject to a 60 second cooldown now. So we'll see if that works. 8ball. Um, Am I subject to a 60 second cooldown? <laughs> I'll copy that to clipboard. Are you joking? And then there's emote, a random emote as well. So because the there was no question posed, there was no space and text after this, it didn't give me the cooldown. Um, eight ball, when I did this the next time it did work, I'm now subject to the cooldown that I set and that's the response that I got. And just to check within the eight ball module, references there is a are you joking there and i don't know what emote that was was it the uh i think it was a keepo yeah keepo <laughs> emote that appeared alongside that there you have it that's how you set up the eight ball module within your cloudbot streamlabs online account and how you activate it on your streaming platform obviously i've given twitch as the example but it's basically the exact same process for youtube and facebook gaming if you've enjoyed this video again give it a little thumbs up if you want to see more give me a little subscribe and if you want take a little look at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana and happy twitching happy streaming